I was editing. <gasps> oh no. Hallelujah, it's raining, man. You gonna watch the sun go down there, Dashy? <laughs> He's crazy, you're not. I actually got goosebumps. Tried to put me and this guy together. I was having a horrible nightmare. Maybe I am the monster they're trying to make me out to be. I was in denial about it. Even though I saw it, I dismissed it. I didn't accept it as reality. It's really important that you believe them. If you are being abused right now, I'm really sorry. Please tell somebody. Tell somebody until you're believed. I understand. Hi guys, it's Kelly. Uh, today is Friday. I just wanted to give a little bit of an update. It's April 24th. I can't believe I've been sick this long. This morning I woke up and I had the wake up nastiness that I get where my body aches, my lungs hurt, and I don't want to do anything. But I feel like it was easier than other mornings. Um, and so, Probably want to see this precious fish. I'm trying to today get up and do things so that I can start building my stamina back up again because I can tell my physical stamina is run down. And while I can't do a lot, because as you can see, I'm talking and my voice has already changed because my lungs are not happy with this. I think it's all right if I get up every now and then. Talking, I think, is um, actually worse than activity. Dancing is the thing that I've been doing the most of lately <laughs> to my boy band. I found a new boy band and I'm gonna check out their music. I haven't really decided whether or not I like them. They're supposed to be like a country pop boy band. There's never been a country boy band, apparently. I think when people think of boy bands, they think of girls screaming. But for me, it's the dancing and singing. Like, I love the dancing and singing part. If every single artist and performed like like boy bands did, I would love every single artist. <laughs> this is the craziest time of my life. I know for everybody else it's being quarantined and isolated and I, I tend to have had that experience for a, a good part of my life. What's weird for me is that I constantly feel tight in my chest and I can't get a full breath. Man, it's, it's exhausting, it really is. Okay, I guess I should stop talking because that'll help. <laughs> Bye. Injection. I gotta do my B12 injection. I was editing. <gasps> oh no. I dropped the needle. Bummer. It, it, I unscrewed it with one hand and it fell. I thought I had it and I, I thought it was doing this. So I have the needle in one hand and then bottom the other. Bummer. Yeah, totally <laughs> made that needle not sterile. Bye needle. Well now I gotta go get another needle. Rats, these are expensive. They are, they're almost, they're like over a dollar a piece. It's expensive. Oh well, at least I didn't lose medication. That would have been worse. Ah, it didn't pee because there was nothing left to pee. Okay, I made a video for this if you're interested. I'll put it in the I card and I'll put it down in the description. So here we go, I'm going to inject my leg. Take the cap off for sure, and it's a little bit weird because I'm doing it backwards with my, there we go, whoa. And I'm going to, oh, I gotta pull back first. The important thing is to keep breathing while you're doing this because if not, I have fainted when giving myself injections in the past because I didn't breathe. So sometimes I would sing and the song I would sing is, it's raining men. Hallelujah, it's raining men. And that time I almost passed out. Just this time. That's why I kept talking. Ugh. I realized, I was like, oh Kelly, don't pass out. Oh Kelly, don't pass out. That's why I kept talking because I knew that if I stopped talking, I would hold my breath. The reason that I almost passed out is because I did the darting so hard that I hit something and bounced back and that kind of gave me the eebie-jeebies wondering what did I hit, but when I pulled back on the uh, syringe, I didn't get any blood returns, so I didn't hit a, anything. You know, if you get blood, you know, it's funny because I think that we think that like if we inject, go into our bodies, we ultimately get blood, but if I get blood when I'm pulling back on that syringe, 
is a very, very bad thing. I didn't bring a Band-Aid. I wasn't thinking I was gonna bleed. When I was taking that nap, that two hour and 45 minute nap, I was having a horrible nightmare. And it was really bad. I couldn't, I was really, really, I was really, really bothered by it. I've really come to terms with a lot of things. I think therapy has given me so much insight. My therapist said, Kelly, look, look at this, you know, this is, you got to see this about people who do these things. It really was helpful to have a therapist do that. I was in denial about it. I always thought, oh, this isn't right. It's not, it makes sense. Like, so I dismissed it. Even though I saw it, I dismissed it. I didn't accept it as reality. And so it's almost like reality is showing up in my dreams. It's really important that if somebody ever comes to you and says, this person is doing this to me, that you believe them believe first if you find out later that they're lying to you okay but it's so important i think to believe the accusations because more than likely it's true like for example there's a huge scandal in my church right before i had to move away the pastor was accused of not good things with women and it was found in an independent committee that he was he was rightfully accused which she had already resigned from the church by then, but the church didn't believe his accusers at first because they were sticking, I guess they had loyalty to the pastor, I don't know. Not this pastor, that doesn't make sense, not him. He's, he would never do that type of thing. You know, I think unfortunately because people believe that about people, then they won't be willing to believe when those people actually do things that are abusive and harmful and I think anybody's capable of anything and if you don't have that belief then you will naively not see when somebody you love is being harmed by someone that is supposed to loving protect them or care about them usually it's not strangers that are abusive usually it's somebody you know and if you are being abused right now, please tell somebody. Please. Tell somebody until you're believed because it is hell when you're not believed. And you might doubt yourself and you might think, oh, well, maybe their accusations of me are true. Maybe I am the monster they're trying to make me out to be or maybe I'm scared that they'll follow through on the threat that they're making. That if I tell, they'll do this. Whatever, you know? It's worth it to tell and to give the support and to get away from them. Get help. And if you have been in an abusive situation in your life, I'm really sorry. I'm really, really sorry. And if you weren't believed, I'm sorry. understand. There's a bird calling out here. So we are outside before the sun goes down. So it looks like there's some grass little peeking up. I don't know if y'all can see it, but I can see it. The sky, so beautiful. You could be my girl, and you could be my homie. All right, so now I have to go get the ball. I've never known a love so steady. It's really bad down here. There's no way that, that grass is ever gonna grow. We flow together like an ocean. Dash is a funny character. He's just sitting up next to the door. Good boy. Oh, <laughs> you're standing on my foot. Ouch. See how he's got the mud on him? Sun is going down. <laughs> this is what he's been doing, like throwing himself on the ground and chewing the ball upside down. Hi. How are you? Thank you. That was nice. Oh, I get lots of kisses. That's very unusual. Oh, you're gonna lay next down next to mama? Yeah. Oh, you're gonna give me a belly rub? 
And I say, I give you the honor of rubbing my belly. And the sun is getting closer. Light in the darkness. Oh, look, Dasher, you cannot go over that line. I've never known a brighter sunset, but every day I see it rise. I never thought it could be bad. Are you gonna watch the sun go down there, Dashy? Till I saw it in your eyes. I love you. Are you coming are back because I say I love you? Oh, that I was will nice. Keep you in my heart. I will hold the world at bay. <laughs> you weirdo. <laughs> oh, yeah. I will love you just the same. And I you're chilly. Even if I know he's crazy, you're not. So, so, so happy. What do you think? Are you watching the sunset? I am sniffing all the good smells, getting all the good rubs. Oh, you smell quite a good scent, huh? And eating all the good grass, as evidenced by the grass I just found. No, you're not eating it. And I am just really trying to connect with God right now and be present with Him and nature and all His creation. It's such a gift to get to see the sun set every day. That's the gorgeous sun. <laughs> Golly, it's like you can't even see it and it's so pretty. So we're about to head on in. The sun has set from our vantage point. There's the train. It's funny, I don't think I've been out here when, I've been inside a lot of times with the train coming through, but I haven't heard it outside yet. No deer this time. Say, come on. He's so weird. Go through. It's because he wants he wants to go where I'm going and he thinks I'm going to go back out. All right, we're squishing your butt through. It's so pretty in this room. The light that comes in this room because of these bay windows is so pretty. Look, it's even getting prettier out there. Man, my breathing feels worse. Okay, so I mentioned at some point that I was gonna be watching this country pop pop country at boy band i'm watching one of their music videos these are really lyrics that are beautiful and make sense to me and i go oh yeah after i've listened to it a few times it's in my head and i i actually got goosebumps I know that's weird, but I did. And these guys are Christian. This John Clausen guy, he said, the only reason I'm sitting here is because of God. If they went on tour, I would go. On the 4th of July, without a cloud in the sky, with the waves crashing on the coast. Little bit hippie with style and grace, moving at a blue jean pace. And through the summer, heat, it feels a chill over me when you grab my arm and leave it. Benny's watching me dance. A thousand colors and lights. It's okay, it's, I'm good. <laughs> this is a good thing. Here it is. Yeah, forever. Let's see. But baby, there's no way that I won't cry when I see you walking down. What? Out, all eternity here in one space and time. It's in your eyes, dressed in white to be my bride. I like this song. That was good. Wow, his voice is pretty. So I'm just really quick thinking about my own life. Unfortunately, you know, some people were matchmaking and tried to put me and this guy together and I was told that the guy was interested in me when he wasn't. I'm ready to date. I'm just, you just can't date in quarantine. Or we would talk on the phone or FaceTime or whatever. I need to just keep trusting God be with my love story because God loves me more than anybody. I'm excited. I'm excited that as the world gets going again, that there's going to be a lot of people out there that are ready to start dating. 
I'm gonna put myself in situations to meet people, and I'm excited. I'm just having a good time, having a bad day, yeah. A real good morning.